What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. I just have a fun video for you guys today. I'm going to show you how to get a pick out of a guitar. Uh, this happens to every guitar player at some point, so don't feel embarrassed if this is like your first time that it's happened. And after I show you how to get the pick out, be sure to stick around. I'll kind of give you guys some tips to prevent this from happening in the first place. Uh, I'm sure you're anxious to get the pick out of your guitar, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So first, I'm just going to throw my pick into the guitar just to simulate me losing the pick inside there. Um, so once the pick is stuck inside, there are a few different options. The first one only works if you have like really small hands, or maybe you're a, a kid uh, watching this video and your hands are small enough. Maybe you can just reach in there and grab it. So you might try that first. I can't do that without like seriously bending the strings and hurting my hands. But if your hands are small enough, you might just be able to reach in there and grab the pick. Uh, so that's one option. Then the second, uh, the second option is the one that I usually use. So let me show you how to do that. So what we'll do, uh, we want to make sure we're in a clear area. We'll try not to hit anything, so here in a minute I'll move my microphone out of the way. Uh, but first I'm just going to slide the pick kind of in the middle of the guitar, just where I can see it. Now this guitar is kind of hard to do because it has like a bracing right in the middle. There we go. So now I have the pick in the middle. I think you guys can see that on that camera up there. All right, I'm, I'm going to move the mic real quick, uh, but before I do that, um, I'm going to grab the guitar basically like this, and then I'll just flip it really quickly to try to flip the uh, pick out. Let me move the mic. All right, so that took a couple of tries, um, and sometimes it doesn't always work on the first try. So yeah, that took me a couple tries, lots of shaking around, but that did get the uh, pick out. So that's one way to do that as well. Uh, that's usually the method that I use just because it usually happens, um, you know, when it's not necessarily the most opportune <laughs> time and you might not have anything with you to get the pick out. All right, so let me show you the last way. Um, so let me throw the pick back in here. Now, this is actually a really cool method so I made a little tool, actually my wife made this uh, for me, so thank you wifey. Uh, this is just a pencil with some tape on the end, and this is like sticky, so the sticky side is facing out, or if you have some double-sided tape, you could use that as well. So if you have this around, super quick, watch this. So we'll just slide the pick to the middle again. It's pretty far away, it may take just a second to get it back to the middle. Okay, I've got it back to the middle again. Maybe you guys can see that. So all I'm going to do is just stick this inside the guitar. And voila! The pick is on the end. So there you go. If you just want to make this little tool, just kind of keep it handy just for this very purpose. Uh, it's super fast. That's really the fastest way to get it out of there. So there you go. You can also use that method. Let's talk about some ways you can avoid dropping your pick in the guitar in the first place. Uh, the first one is just to grip the pick firmly. So you want to make sure you're you know, holding the pick kind of in the middle. I'll have some students that want to hold the pick like way out here, uh, which you know makes it really easy to drop it because you don't have a very firm grip. And you don't want to hold it like way down there on the tip either, but just kind of in the middle. Make sure you're holding it between the pointer finger and the thumb, uh, also gripping pretty firmly. Also, the angle of the pick can make a pretty big difference. Um, you'll see a lot of people kind of hold their pick out like this at an angle like that, um, which makes it easier to drop. So make sure it is facing basically straight towards you, straight into the sound hole of the guitar whenever you strum, or maybe even just slightly back towards the bridge just a little bit is okay, but definitely not facing towards the neck of the guitar. So be sure you grip that well, have a good angle. Then also, it, um, it can also depend on like what type of pick you're using. So they actually do make picks with little grips on them. I'll link these down in the description. These are the ones I like to use. Uh, this is a uh, Dunlop Max Grip uh, 0.73 millimeter. So yeah, these are great. Um, that little extra grip on there. I don't know how well you guys can see that in the video, but yeah, there's just like a little rough spot right here um, that makes this way easier to hold. And uh, I love these picks. Use them for electric and for acoustic. So check down in the description if you guys want to get some of those. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Grip the pick. Make sure your angle's good. And then you can always use a pick with a grip on it to make it easier to hold. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully it helps save you some time. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. 
Also, don't forget to check down in the description for some helpful links. Uh, huge thanks to the patrons. You guys help support the channel, help keep all these videos going. So thank you very much. I think that is all. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.